guys! Today I have a really great tutorial for you. I saw these really great earrings that I love and I wanted to make some for myself. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a less expensive way to make them because um, if you're buying gold leaf specifically for this project, it can cost a bit more than um, what you might want to spend and I want to try to keep these projects as cost effective as I can for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys a cheaper way to make these really cute earrings and I have them on right now. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these heart turquoise ones, but you can make them in many different shapes um, just using the same techniques. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys that. If you guys are ready, let's go. The first thing you're going to need is some of this oven hardening modeling clay. As the name suggests, you cook it in the oven to harden it. And I'm using number 39, which is a peppermint color. And it's sort of a turquoise color. This tool I'm using is a tool that I got in a female um, kit, or a female starter kit. But I'm sure you can buy um, something similar to this where they sell this type of modeling clay. You really do not need very much of this to make one pair of earrings. This little chunk that I am cutting off here, this made me one pair of earrings and then I had enough um, left from that little chunk to make one more earring. So that gives you an idea. And then just knead that piece with your hands to get it nice and warm and soft. Once you've got it soft enough, you're just going to tear off a chunk and you're going to roll it into a small ball the size of a very small pea. So once you have your, your little ball, you're going to just squish it with your fingers and you're just going to bring one end to a point so that you're creating a sort of teardrop shape. So then you're just going to divide the rounded edge of your teardrop shape in two and you're going to take the sharp edge of your tool and you're going to cut about midway down your teardrop shape to create those two humps of your heart. And then you're just going to separate them slightly and then you're just going to um, use your fingers and whatever tools you need to turn this into more of a refined heart shape. Now, once you've perfected the shape of your heart, you're going to need some earring posts. And you're going to look for flat post earrings. So you just want to take one of those and you're going to position it as far towards the top of your heart as you possibly can without it showing on the other side. So right where the two humps meet one another. And then just add a little bit of pressure and push that post down in there to make an indentation where that will be later glued. Then just turn it around and um, if it end up getting squished a little bit on that side, you just want to fix anything. Um, without squishing too much on this side again and removing that indentation you just made. So be gentle. And then once you've got um, your two hearts or however many you're making to this point, then you're ready to bake them at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes just like the package says. While your earrings are hardening in the oven, you're going to take a piece of aluminum foil and some of this Krylon metallic spray paint in gold and then you'll need to just spray a section of your aluminum foil with this paint and let it dry so I'm gonna go do that so once you have a few sections of this paint sprayed onto your aluminum foil just drag your fingernail over the top of the spray painted area to create a section where you can start to lift it away and then your paint should just easily start to peel off in um, nice sized pieces. And this is how we're creating this faux gold leaf. So this is just an alternative that I figured out and I wanted to share it with you guys. But if you have real gold leaf, yes, please use it. The results will be beautiful. So as you can see, what we've created here is something that mimics gold leaf. It's very thin and delicate, quite similar and it has a shiny side and a not so shiny side so you'll know what side to glue um, facing down on your earrings. Once your hearts are dried and cooled, you're ready to start applying your faux gold leaf to your hearts. So for this step, you're going to need 
some Mod Podge, and go for the glossy Mod Podge. And you're going to need a small paintbrush. And you're just going to take some of that Mod Podge onto your paintbrush and then just paint um, the front of your hearts. And then take a nice sized section of the faux gold leaf and then just position it toward the bottom of the heart. So we're going to put this faux gold leaf just along the bottom half of this heart. And this works best if you use larger pieces. So just do this to both of your hearts or all of your hearts depending on how many you're making. And don't worry if it's not curling around the edges properly right now. Once the Mod Podge becomes a little bit more tacky, you can then press any of this faux gold leaf down where it wasn't sticking and it, it should adhere at that point. So as you can see here, I've got the faux gold leaf applied to both of my hearts and now I'm just going around the edges and then just pressing it on there really well. Once you're finished that, you're just going to let the Mod Podge dry completely. So now mine are dried completely and I'm ready to move on to the next step. So I'm just going to take a toothpick with a nice sharp end. I'm going to scratch into the gold leaf, just removing some of it here and there, but keeping that full gold leaf heavier towards the bottom and scraping more of it away towards the top of my hearts. And then just use your fingernail or your toothpick to remove any of the excess crumbly bits. So this is the look that you're going for. Now for this next step, you're going to need a plastic Ziploc bag or something to put underneath your hearts. And you're going to need some of this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. This is what's going to make that really hard, durable and glossy finish. So just apply a really nice amount of that dimensional magic directly to your hearts and use your paintbrush and you're just going to move the dimensional magic over the surface of your heart and coat it entirely on the edges and all around. This is why we need that plastic bag. And this stuff begins to dry pretty quickly so what you're going to need to do is just use your brush and go around underneath the heart along the edges to try to remove any of that dripping that happened. A little bit is okay, but you want to try to eliminate as much of that as possible. And then you're just going to let that first layer dry. Once your first layer is dry, you're going to apply a second layer and follow those same steps. So now that you have a couple of coats of the Dimensional Magic applied to your hearts and it's dry, you might end up with, like I said, um, having a little bit of the drip still attached to your hearts when you pull them away from the bag. So just use a small nail file or very fine sandpaper and just remove um, any of those edges because you want the edges to be nice and smooth and flush all the way around. So now we're ready to attach the earring posts. For this you're going to need some E6000 glue and this is commonly used um, in jewelry making and it's very very durable once it's dried. So you just need a toothpick and you're just going to take a very very tiny amount on the end of your toothpick and you're just going to apply that on the back of your earring where we made that indentation and then just take your earring post and position it back in that indentation and push your earring post down as hard as you possibly can so that it fits nice and snug and then you will create a nice flush finish. You're probably going to end up with a little bit of the glue squirting out around the edges but just use your toothpick to just swipe away that excess glue and again this helps create a nice flush back to your earring and a nice seal. And then you're just going to let this dry. So once you've let these dry for just a few minutes, you're going to take your Dimensional Magic once again. And you're just going to apply a little bit to the backs of your earrings, just on the hearts, not on the posts, just to give them a much more finished look and a nice non-porous surface for better hygiene. So as you can see here, I'm just taking a tiny piece of my clay, rolling it into a ball and applying it to 
the post end of my earring before I apply my dimensional magic. This is just going to give me a convenient base to hold my earring while it dries. That way I can apply one final nice thick coat of this dimensional magic to the front of the earrings without having to worry about any of that over drip along the edges. And then you'll just need to let them dry for about 24 hours before you can wear them. And here's the final product. Aren't these just so awesome? I just love them. So what did you guys think? Simple, easy, fun? Um, I thought it was really simple and easy and I love bringing you guys projects where you can save a little bit of money making them um, by just doing it a little bit of a different way. Um, so if you guys did like this video, don't forget to click that little thumbs up below, that's really appreciated. And if you want to keep up with new videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's lots of ways to do that, um, so I'm making it really easy for you guys. You can click right up here in the corner on the Creative Glow. Um, you can click down below the red subscribe button, of course. And at the end of my video on my end cards where I suggest other videos for you guys to watch, there's also a little subscribe button that you can click there. So really, really easy to subscribe to my channel and keep up with all of my newest videos. Um, don't forget to head over to my blog. And guys, please come and talk to me. Come and interact with me. Comment on my videos. Share. Sharing is always good. You know the old phrase, sharing is caring. I love that. Everybody loves that. Um, so don't forget to share and like and come and follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and a bunch of other places. I've got that list right here. You can also find all of those places linked in the description of the video. I love each and every one of you so, so much. I hope you guys all have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.